Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Well, today is the 15th of September, 2022. We are almost halfway through the month. Well, maybe in some places you're already halfway through the month. But uh, here right now, it's almost 9.30 in the morning. So, yeah, another three hours and we'll be halfway through. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working here on... Um, this is Halloween Sampler. And this is what it looks like. And right now, I am up here... In this cat so um, as many of you may remember from yesterday I was so 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 tired and you know why I was tired I'll give you one answer right there miss twinkle toes herself miss Lily Bell Yes, that, that's where I lay them. <laughs> well, last night I slept better. It wasn't 100%, but it was better. So, um, yeah. But I was tired yesterday. Oh my gosh, I was so tired. And I stayed up till 9 o'clock. <laughs> and I kept Lily Bell up till 9 o'clock, hoping, beyond hope, <laughs> that she would sleep right through. But, nope. She was up at 2.30, o'clock. 3.30, maybe? I can't remember. And uh, so I put her out, brought Jonah in, and then um, gave her her treat, and I crawled back into bed. Well, Lily Bell was there scratching at my door, and she actually, she opened the door. I have to do something different there, because she keeps pushing the door open. And then she walks around and walks around and walks around. And I know I've got to cut her nails again, clip her nails. But you can hear her click, clicking along <laughs> on the floor. Yeah. And the reason why is because Jonah, Sir Wine a lot, was sleeping in her bed. And. Jonah has no trouble whatsoever in commandeering her bed. So, and with Jonah in the bed, Lily Bell, she won't get herself into the bed. So then she's up and wandering and, and that. So now she's sleeping and Jonah's on my bed sleeping. Yeah. So that's where I stand. But I got out of bed. It was right around 7 o'clock. So, which was better than yesterday. By a long shot. But I'd like to have it that I could sleep all night long. All night. But no. <laughs> As someone said, um, you'll sleep when you're dead. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So today is a much cloudier day. It was raining during the night. Alexa Louder. Alexa, what's the forecast? Right now in Eric's 
It's 10 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has cloudy skies with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Would you also like tomorrow's weather? No. So, um, yeah. It's getting chilly. And even with my leggings on and a sweater on, I'm, I'm chilly. I have socks on. But what I should do is I should put my blanket around my knees again. Jeffrey and Ryan gave me this blanket for Christmas, I don't know, three years ago or so. And it's my favorite blankie. It's my most favorite blankie. And it, it really keeps my legs warm. And uh, I've never been one to take the cold. I just, nope. No, no, no. Like, I love this time of year. Just love it. Always love to go walking in the woods, um, you know, after it rained and uh, the leaves are falling and everything is wet and, and that. And it was just wonderful. And, uh, but, no. And we all know that winter is around the corner. It's not very nice. And, uh... But it's inevitable, right? Can't do anything about it. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah, today is just going to be a quiet day. Juliet went into the city yesterday. Her and Shirley were going to um, a Daniel O'Donnell concert. He sings uh, Irish music. And they've seen him many times over. You know, I've only been to a couple of concerts in my entire life and even though it's nice I don't have to go and see it you know I don't need to be around all those many people and um, just to see someone on stage I remember many years ago probably 30 years ago 35 years ago, maybe, I don't know. Um, we saw Randy Travis in Winnipeg. And that was a nice concert, and Lyle enjoyed that. So did I. Um, years and years and years ago, over 40 years ago, almost 45 years ago, I saw um, the Steve Miller Band in Winnipeg. It was at the Red River X. And that was good. So, 
But I don't have to see people in concert. I don't have to go to places like that. You know, spend the money and, you know, to go and all that. And, uh, no. Spend time away and I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. So. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to work here on this today. I am going to put a few more books away. I'm really going through my book. Now, like I've really picked up the speed of reading it. I think I only have like 50 pages left. So. But it is getting harder to uh, read the smaller print for sure. I know I have a lot of books that are larger, you know, the large print. Which is good. They should make all their books that way. Harlequin or otherwise. But can you see a Stephen King book being large print? <laughs> I mean, they're already like seven, eight hundred pages. The book would be so thick and heavy. Nobody would be able to carry it. But I don't like reading Stephen King I like watching the movies. I um and I like the audiobooks. That's what I like. But I don't like reading. I tried reading books, his books and nope. So Yeah, and I've been using that beautiful bookmark that Gigi made for me. And uh, it's a pink bookmark. I don't have it right now, but maybe I'll show you tomorrow. It's beautiful. And uh, it's, it's simple, but it's beautiful. It's just a piece of ribbon. And it's got a bead on one end, and then it's got more beads on the bottom end. And, uh, yeah, I used to always love bookmarks. Always, always, always. And I know I made one here that was, um... A diamond painting. And I think that was my very first try at diamond painting. I still want to get to that cat, but... I have got to finish. I've got to have some finishes here. So... This is ridiculous. I, do, I have so many... Uh, underway and I've got to get a few of these out of the way now some of you have already given ideas as to what you'd like to stitch um, for 2023 you know be interesting um, what some of you others have to say you know, like maybe you can you can list the top three or the top five that you would like to do in 2023. You know, so it would, um, um, I'm just curious as to, and if you've got pictures of them, that would be even better. Especially if there's something that, you know, we've never seen before. So, 
Otherwise, not much else is happening. Just quiet. So, yeah, so Juliet it, um, stayed in the city last night. Stayed at her friend Shirley. And um, so then they went to the concert last night. And then this morning, she's going to visit her Auntie Tony. And another uh, Auntie Frances. So she's going to go and visit them. And they're both elderly. So it's wonderful to, that she goes and she visits. So Auntie Tony is almost blind. I've never met her. I could have met her one time, but I just chose to stay in the car so that Juliet would have time there with her alone. You know. And, um, but I've heard such wonderful things about her. You know. I'm moving quite along here, which is good. And, uh, yeah, I would like to see this cat finished here today, maybe. But I want to get this one done, and I want to get my um, October flower. Oh, my. Gosh, come on, get off there. Then I would like to get this one done. So I don't have a lot left here on the border. And then, um, yeah, there's not there's not much to this, right? So I want to get this done as well. I have an old, old Singer sewing machine. Not a treadle, but an old one from the 50s. Could even be from the 40s. I don't know. And um, I haven't used it in quite a while. But I might get it out so that I can just sew the edges. If not, it's small enough. I can just sew it by hand, put it back on it. Um, you know, and then I have lots of fiber fill, so, and make a little pillow. And then I will put that on my tear tray, which I have to change over from summer to fall. I haven't done it yet, which is terrible. So maybe I'll work on that a little bit today, too. So. So much to do. So, so very much to do. And I have to see about getting, what do you call that, uh, the window cling barrier I gotta get some of that because I have three windows to do I have my bedroom the craft room and Jonah's room so 
because last winter uh, it, it was it was cold and the wind was coming in and they were all frosted and all that so I might just go on Amazon and place an order for them and um, get that done Um, yeah, so, okay, let's see, yeah, come on. These scissors are really nice, but they're to me, they're a little bit on the long side. I would like to see them about half this size. And, uh, cause yesterday I was doing something here and I went to bend and, and they poked into my leg. Oh, I like them, though. I really like them. I can't remember who I got them from. Oh, boy, that wind is strong there. I've been shutting up the windows here slowly. I have another window here that I've got to... I, I have to close up. And, um, I got to see about putting insulation in between the front door, the two front doors. Because a lot of cold seeped in there, too. So, yeah, because I don't use the front door. Now, if there ever was a fire, heaven forbid, of course, please God, no, um, that all I would have to do is open up the door, pull the insulation out, and go out. You know, it's better than going through a window. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to see how much I can get done of this ouch today. And, uh... Because I was lax in doing this because I was working on the fairy tale village. So. And I was actually tempted to work on it today, but then I thought, nah, I'm going to concentrate on this and try and get this one done. And I got this through fan cells. And it's still available. They're a very, very good company. So please go and check them out. Now, I know that you can probably find this at other stores. But this is where I got this one. Was fan cells. And I thank them again for sending it to me and I appreciate um, having the opportunity to actually work on this and um, I haven't decided yet about this border here if I'm going to do 
I like to put beads on it. But I might put, maybe I'll put the black here and put the orange and black around the outside. I don't know yet. I have to see. Because I don't want to run out of beads, right? After all the work I would have done to putting them in. Oh, the sun's trying to peek out. Die Sonne kommt raus. Die Sonne kommt raus. The sun is coming out. Okay. So now I'm going to move on here to the witch's hat because I still have some here. But I, I think I'm going to be going through this all just a minute here. Um, I'm just going to... Yep. Just anchor this and then I'll show you how much um, of this that I have left in this with this color. Which isn't really isn't that much because this is just a partial, right? So I just have the hat and the spider and then I have this the house and the witch's skirt to do and then I'm done that color so it's not that much really it's really it's not that much so I think I can put a big dent in this today Hopefully, and uh, but it's uh, it's turning out quite nice. Now, I know there was somebody else that was working on this, and um, she posted a um, picture of it, how far she had gotten. So, if you've been working on it, can you please show, um, can, she, can you please show an updated picture if you've been working on it? Now, of course, if it's a side, well, you know, and you haven't worked on it, then there's no sense. But, I know she had... She had this corner done, and I believe the cat done. I'm not sure about the hat. She had quite a bit of it done. And, uh, which was awesome, and it looked fantastic. It really looked good. So... Uh, yeah I would really like to start winter the winter lady but that's not going to be on my radar well it is on my radar <laughs> but it's far out there once I get this Halloween finished and the October flower finished. And then I will see about um, maybe starting on that. So. 
So all these ones that I want to start and I want to get finished. And, ah, uh, yes, I'm seeing a little bit of blue sky. So that's good. It's still 17 degrees inside here. So. Alrighty, I think that's it. So, as you can see here, I am progressing. I'll get the hat here finished. And maybe her, the witch's skirt here finished. And perhaps even start on the house today. We'll see. Because if I get company or whatever, then that's going to put a kibosh on it. Right? Not going to get as much done. So, but, uh, yeah. I think I might put beads on here for the cat. That's a good idea. You know. So, all right, everyone. I guess that's it for today. So, thank you again so very much for joining me. And uh, there's a dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. You just have to answer a question. Who are my sidekicks? Spelling's not important. Um, and, um, the, and that's Stitching in the Interlake. My email address is stitchinginteralake, all one word, at gmail.com. Okay? And... Most of the other information will be down below. So, all right, everyone. I hope you have a really good day and um, we'll see how things go. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes. You help me, Lily Bell. And Jonah, who's on the bed. And, um, so thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. Amen. So have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. So Toodle-littles, everybody!